Welcome to Illuminati Silver. We tell you the truth about silver. Today is Thursday the 20th of July 2017 and we're commenting as to what we believe will be the next steps in the unfolding Trump-Russia saga. President Trump told the New York Times at an interview in the Oval Office yesterday that he wouldn't have hired the Attorney General had he known he'd recuse himself from the Russian inquiry because it's, quote, extremely unfair, unquote. He added, quote, Sessions should have never recused himself, and if he was going to recuse himself, he should have told me before he took the job, and I would have picked somebody else, unquote. What Trump neglects to say is that Sessions was more or less forced to step aside from the investigation into possible Russian collusion with the Trump campaign in March after meetings he had failed to disclose with a Russian ambassador came to light. Now this in itself just sounds like a president venting his frustration. However, we suggest perhaps something a little more sinister or Machiavellian may be going on. What was not quite so widely reported was the criticism the President also levelled against the Deputy Attorney General Rod Rosenstein, who incidentally hired the Special Counsel Robert Mueller, and the current acting head of the FBI, Andrew McCarb. On Rosenstein, he quoted a conflict of interest in that Rosenstein had recommended that he dismiss the head of the FBI, James Comey, and had then gone on to appoint as special counsel on the Russian investigation, Robert Mueller, who is now looking into whether the Comey firing was an illegal obstruction of justice. Quote, well, that's a conflict of interest, unquote, the president said. On Andrew McCarb, Trump stated that the acting FBI director's wife, Jill, had received political donations from a Democratic fund, thereby implying another conflict of interest situation. So where is all of this leading? Well, next Wednesday, Donald Trump Jr. and Paul Manafort will be testifying before the Senate Judiciary Committee on July the 26th, next Wednesday. Before then, Jared Kushner will testify in closed hearing on the 24th, next Monday. Now, whether you are a Trump supporter or not, if one is being objective, there's little doubt from the emails presented by Trump Jr. and what has been discovered since, that the meeting set up with the Russian lawyer, Natalia Veselnitskaya, and her entourage was for the purpose of obtaining dirt on Hillary Clinton in order to improve the Trump's campaign chances. Now, whether this was legal or illegal at this stage is not our concern. What is more important is that it is evidence that Trump campaign hierarchy have dealt with Russians, when previously they were aghast at such an accusation. Even Kushner updated his SF-86 security clearance form three times, changing it from zero foreign contacts to around 100 foreign contacts. Now, it does not take a genius to work out that although one may forget a couple, but a hundred? <laughs> Come on. Now... Here is the sinister part. President Trump also warned yesterday when speaking to the New York Times that Robert Mueller would be crossing a red line if he expanded his probe into the Trump family empire. When asked, he stated, quote, I would say yes. I think that's a violation. Look, this is about Russia. Unquote. Now again, we all know that both of Trump's sons have commented in the past 
that Trump received Russian bank financing and also had commercial dealings with the Russians. The extent has not been revealed, but may indeed be called for by Mueller as part of his investigation. President Trump's warning is putting Mueller on notice, but in our view is painting a very clear picture. If Mueller gets too close, Sessions, Rosenstein, McNabb and Mueller will all go. Some voluntarily, such as Sessions, and the others may indeed be fired or replaced. It is crucial for Trump, as a first step, for Sessions to go and is replaced by someone on his side. And that person will then be Mueller's boss and can coordinate the situation appropriately. Now we cannot overemphasize this next point. Trump is not bothered about optics or how things look. Trump does not care about whether one has suspicions or that his firings may have political consequences for his party. As President Trump has the power of pardon. Under Article 2, Section 2 of the United States Constitution, the President, quote, shall have power to grant reprieves and pardons for offences against the United States, except in cases of impeachment, unquote. This means that even if his children, associates or friends, are successfully accused, arrested and indicted, and it's a big if, we confess. President Trump can pardon them. Yes, it may lead to a political onslaught to have him impeached. But his right of pardon can extend to all crimes except impeachment and state crimes. And cannot be reversed. So this is why President Trump is not too worried. He has a significant following in the country and fellow Republicans dare not move against him until next year's elections are over. So he is currently bulletproof and he knows this. Mueller can upset the apple cart, but not if his findings are eventually ignored by a new Attorney General and a new Deputy Attorney General. If we are wrong, and fellow Republicans say enough is enough, and move to replace him, he will simply do a deal with Vice President Pence, resign, and President Pence will issue him with a pardon as part of the deal. This, fellow listeners, is why Machiavelli has nothing on President Trump. We hope you have found this video interesting and informative and if so please give it a thumb up and share it on Twitter. Also kindly visit our website at IlluminatiSilver.com and if you haven't already done so please subscribe as a free member for regular email updates and offers. Our Facebook page which is updated daily can be found at Facebook.com forward slash IlluminatiSilver. Disclaimer. Illuminati silver owners come from a background of banking, international wealth management and economics. Having now retired from these worlds, we are not qualified to give investment advice. Therefore, this and other productions must not be deemed to be giving such advice and merely represent the personal views of its own.